What's up, family? You tuned into another episode of Bo Too Dope. I'm your boy Bo, and today's topic is gonna be kinda different, but it's still a topic. It's basically about what somebody said. Yep, it's about your girl, Meg Stallion. Now, I mess with Meg Stallion. I like her. You know what I'm saying? Don't necessarily listen to her music like that, but but uh, she said something that kind of like you know caught my attention. And uh, what she said was, was basically she was saying that men are intimidated by women who take charge. Now, if, that, if it is some men out there that's intimidated by women who take charge, y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself, man. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself. But I'm about to go into that in just a second. So stay tuned. And if you like this video, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. What's up, family? I'm back, and uh, yeah, I got to get to, I got to get to it. I got to get to it. I got to talk about this because it's crazy to me, you know, that she would say this. And you know, I have my own, uh, I have my own reasons why I don't play her music. Yeah, because it's, it's real explicit, mainly because I got kids. You know what I'm saying? And I have a daughter. My daughter likes her, her music. So you know, I let her catch the the radio versions and all that right there, but. Uh, not necessarily listen to the explicit versions, but that's my reason for not listening to her music. But when she said something about men are intimidated by women who take charge, I beg to differ on that because I'm the type of dude like I want a woman that take charge. You know, don't take charge of me, but you know. And, I, and, and my question to her is, what exactly is the woman taking charge of? Because if she trying to take charge of the man, then that's not an intimidation. That's basically uh, trying to force a man to be sort of a, your slave. And if men do that to women, y'all wrong. But I don't want a woman like that. But taking charge of your life, that's different. I respect that. Because I believe every individual, man or woman, should take charge of their life. But it's crazy because, you know, I, I felt like men were getting targeted. And I'm not speaking for all men, but I, I'm speaking for myself. But I'm going to read a little bit out of this article interview that she did. This part right here stood out to me and I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it up here somewhere. Uh, but she said, a man can be as mediocre as he want to be and still be praised. Man, I'm mediocre as hell. Ain't nobody praising me. So that's a lie. That is a lie, dog. That's a lie. But then she goes on to say, she said, a man can talk about how he's about to do all of these drugs and then come to shoot up your house. But as soon as I say something about my vagina, it's the end of the world. That's true, though. And that's exactly why I said I don't let my children listen to certain rap music either. You know, because some some rap music can be vile, too. You know, and but they right, though. You know, women get trash when they talk about their vagina, but dudes talk about they peace all the time and nobody says nothing about it uh shout out to uncle luke because he the one started it. but anyway <laughs> but anyways yeah um, I, on that note i think she she's right about that one you know what i'm saying but it doesn't it still doesn't you know uh justify the fact that you're saying it or you're doing it you don't have to be like those male rappers you can do your own thing you can still be respectable you know or whatever and if you if you really lyrical and you can rap, like, well, we're gonna listen to you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to sell your body and all these different things. Well, hold up, let me stop lying. This is 2020. This is the, 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 the millenniums run this, this this generation. So I'm lying. I am lying. You do gotta show some ass and no class. You gotta show some ass and no class to get some popping out of it. Dudes gotta have no class at all. To be popping out here i can't bring myself to that lower standard like i do music too but i can't bring myself to that low enough standard to talk that bad about a woman or 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 say i'm doing some things that i'm really not doing because that's what dudes are resulting to a lot of these dudes ain't even about what they say they're about but they do it because they know that's what people want to hear people praise that 
you know, and people praise when women talk about their vaginas and shake their butts on, on TV and camera. Me, my reason for not wanting a woman like that because I have, I'm a single dad, so I have, I have a daughter, and I don't want my daughter being around nothing like that. I don't want my daughter being influenced by nothing like that. I don't want, I don't want my daughter to have the notion in her head that she got to show these things to get seen by a man, a real man, because if a real man wants you covered up anyway. But yeah, I don't want her to be influenced by that. So I honestly think that that is a bunch of hoopla when it comes to saying that men are intimidated by women who take charge. No, it's, it depends on what you're trying to take charge of. Yeah, I don't listen to her necessarily because of that reason. Uh, and I don't let my sons, I don't let them listen to certain male rap music because of the things that they say. You feel what I'm saying? None of it gets a pass with me, you know? Now, if it's something kind of positive, just talking about life, I mean, you can't dodge life. Life is something that you go through. As long as you're living, you're gonna go through life. And I honestly believe that if, if we could go back to, you know, being more lyrical and talking about something and having something to say, then music would be listenable for everybody. You know, right now, man, it's not. And I have to keep my kids away from it. And, you know, not to say that other people have to keep their kids away from it. You do what you want to do, that's on you. But I don't want my kids' head filled with that type of stuff, especially with what's going on now. Like, there's so much going on, and, and even, I'm gonna say this, even grown folks, they are not aware. They are not aware. They still rather go party and have a I don't care mind frame, and that's cool. But when the stuff hit the fan, what you gonna do? Because you haven't sat down and read nothing. You haven't learned anything. You haven't learned nothing. You haven't tried to do anything. So, you know, with that being said, men, that are intimidated by women who take charge. That's crazy. If y'all are, y'all should want a woman to take charge. Who wants a woman that they can run all over and tell them what to do and how to do it? No. I mean, you know, I want to be, I want to stand beside my woman. I don't want her to be above me. I don't want to be above her. I want her to be equal. You feel what I'm saying? That way she can share some game to me. I, I learn something from her, share some game to her. She learns something from me. That's how it's supposed to be. But that's not the case. You know, women, uh, are beginning to uh, act like men, so to speak. Not saying that they act like men, but now they get money like men are, you know what I'm saying? They, and they, they in the rap game dominating, they doing different things, and now they pushing out this notion of being independent. You know what I'm saying? That's fine, that's fine, but you know, don't just put men all the way out the picture because without a man, you wouldn't have been here. You feel what I'm saying? They promote so much, so much of the things that shouldn't be promoted. Things that I think should be private. You know what I'm saying? And this goes for men and women on both sides. They promote too much of the things that should be private. Like, what I ain't never understood about male rappers is how the hell you gangster and you telling everybody what the hell you doing? <laughs> I ain't never understood that. How you gangster? And you selling all these drugs and you in these streets, but you done told everybody where your stash spot is, who you hang with, which one of your homeboys that shot the dude that, that you recently got convicted for. You feel what I'm saying? Like, how? How? That, just, that goes right back to your boy, uh, uh, that goes right back to your boy, what's his name? Uh, what's the boy name? I got murder on my mind. Yeah, Melly. Yeah. He locked up. And now they using his song against him you know what i'm saying that's the crazy thing they use his song against him all because he didn't keep whatever he did and even if he did do it he told on his damn self just to get some damn views and just to get some clout you know what i'm saying like damn clout i'm gonna make a million of these videos i don't care if they get 13 or 14 views i'm not doing it for the views i'm doing it because these are things that are on my mind all the time and i just feel like i gotta get them out one way or the other I don't really hang around people, so I'd rather talk to the camera, put the videos up, and then let y'all decide on whether y'all agree with me or not. And if you don't agree with me, put it in the comments. That's fine. You can talk about me. You can say anything negative you want to. I don't live for nobody but myself. So what you say about me doesn't matter. Now, if you come up with positivity, I respond to positivity because I like being around positive uh, things. I like uh, 
I'm talking about positivity. Like that's that's what I'm about. But negative negativity don't get no answer. It gets no acknowledgement at all. But uh, yeah, you know, you can't talk. Uh, what I'm saying, you can't talk about certain things in your music, and then uh, and when somebody, you know, what I'm saying, join on you about it, talk about you, you can't get mad. You brought that attention to yourself. You can't sit up here and think that talking about your vagina or talking about your middle part isn't gonna raise controversy in some sort of way. Because you think about it, if you wasn't talking about the things, you probably wouldn't have the controversy you got now. That's what's making you rich, the controversy. Not it's not actually your song. Your song might have a groovy beat or something like that, but it's not it's not to the to the point of uh where you the greatest rapper of all time. And if you think that, then you're wrong. Because it's people that actually sit down and put time and, and heart into their lyrics to talk about something to get you to hear what they saying. You know what I'm saying? There's people out here that does that. You know what I'm saying? They don't get enough recognition. They don't get enough recognition. So, I know I kind of got off topic with that, but it kind of, I get, I get passionate when I talk about things. But, as far as saying that men are intimidated by women that take charge, no. Men just, I think, I think some men just don't know how to speak when they say certain things. So when they speak and they, they're talking on the terms of, I don't, you too pretty to be out there doing this type of stuff. You don't have to do that. You are a beautiful black woman. And you should be able to not be what everybody else wants you to be. You feel what I'm saying? That That's what I think they're saying. You know, you should go off the limb trying to impress a million people, you know, even though you know that's what they want to hear, because at, at this point now, you're doing it for the money. You're not even doing it for yourself. Now you you, you feeling, now you feeling, now you feeling like the world is turning against you because they're talking about what you're talking about in your, um, in your songs. No, the world ain't against you. Not the world. You know, I'm not against you. I have no reason to be against you. But, what, like I said, that if you talk about something in your music, you can't expect, you cannot expect for people to not say nothing. Because those things are just things that raise his eyebrows. Those things that you're talking about are things that raise eyebrows, you know? You just have to be careful about what you're saying. If you don't want to get talked about, don't talk about that type of stuff. But if you know you talk about that type of stuff, if me, if I, if I was a mainstream rapper and I was out there and I would say stuff in my music and people would come to me about, hey man, hey, hey Bo, how you feel about people saying something about what you said in that song? Like, hey, you know, everybody entitled to their pee. I don't care, you know. I, I had, I knew that coming to this game, talking about that was gonna, you know, get people to talk. But I'm not gonna change what I do. But this is me, you know. Obviously, you showing that that's not who you really are. If you got a problem with being called those things, or with people acting like it's the end of the world, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you got to accept it. You got to accept the life, the ridicule, and all them different things that come with that. You got to accept it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, that's just my take on it. Like, don't be upset. And, 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 and let's clear things up. If they, men are not intimidated by women who take charge. You know, I'm not rich. I'm not in a rich position. I'm okay, but I'm not rich. So if I see a woman doing better than me, that make me want to get at her even more. You know, unless I see a ring on her finger, then I respect it. You know, I ain't no disrespectful dude. But yeah, man, you know, I, I see that. And I respect that, and I, that make me want to talk to her even more because she got something going. Because maybe I feel like she got something to offer now. Maybe she can teach me something. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, man. You know, I, I, I don't really get into that too much. But you know, with her saying it, it, it was crying. It was kind of one of those things that make you say, like, why would you say it? You know what I'm saying? And she went on. I gotta, I gotta say this. She went on and say that. What are you really mad about? You cannot be mad about me rapping about sex. That's not what you're mad about. It's something deeper. Not only am I rapping about sex, I'm rapping about you making me feel good. I'm not rapping about licking on you. I'm no, no, you're going to do what I told you to do. 
and I feel like sometimes that can be a little intimidating. Sometimes it's overwhelming uh, to some men. They can't handle it. They get a little shook. They get a little scared. But I'm not going nowhere, so get used to it. Well, that's all you had to say. That's all you had to say. But don't say that men are intimidated by that. Not all men are. And most men just don't know how to speak that into existence or speak on it because, you know, it's like, yeah, we got daughters and we don't want our daughters influenced by it. But like I tell you, man, like I say, bro, just change the channel. I don't, if I don't like what she's saying, then I just change the, the station, turn it off. And I explain to my daughter why I don't want, I don't want, because I don't want to seem like the bad guy to my daughter. So I explain to her why I don't want her listening to those things. I'll even play. I'll even play a whole song of hers and let her hear it for herself and she'll be like, oh my God. And she'll be like this right here. So I was like, yeah, that's why. And then when you get grown, you can listen to what you want to. I can't protect you from everything because it's, it's, it's in your environment. Even when you ain't around and when you go to school, you might hear this. But it'll always be in the back of your head as to why you shouldn't listen to these things. And I break it down to a science. I break it down to a science, and I have to understand how it, 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 how influential it is on her mental. And she may not see that now, but as she get older, she will understand it because it's a lot of things that were influential on my mental when I was a kid, you know. And I didn't realize it until I got older. Man. And, I, and I honestly believe that if I had seen things differently and looked at things differently, uh, listened to different types of music. Because when I was coming up, my mom, she didn't care what we listened to. And now, if we messed up, she definitely whooped that butt, though. She definitely did that. But, uh, yeah, so it was different when I was coming up. And then music wasn't as harsh when I was coming up, neither, you know. She would never let us like, watch those Uncle Luke videos. The only way I really knew about it is when I snuck and watched them. And who knows? My children may be sneaking and watching stuff. But... The, the whole reason why you're sneaking and watching it because you know you don't supposed to be doing it because otherwise you wouldn't have to sneak. You feel what I'm saying? So I think that that's what it is. I don't think men are intimidated by that. I think uh, if you're going to speak on it, man, you know, speak on it with an open mind and not just a one-sided opinion because if you come to a woman one side and she's just going to feel like that you're scared or you're intimidated when that ain't even really the case. So... Just, just, you know, pay attention to how you, how you come off. And I, I, I have to wonder, I have to wonder, who are these men? Because are, is she paying that much attention to uh, social media comments? Is she paying that much attention to them or what? Because I, I don't think a celebrity that's doing a lot of shows and all these different things have time for that. Or is it somebody in her circle? So you feel what I'm saying? That's the question. I really don't know. That's my take on things. I ain't gonna hold y'all up. Like this video, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. This is your boy Bo Too Dope, and I'm signing out saying stay up, stay down, and most importantly, stay real.